lot of changes going on in a lot of our lives on the coaching staff. Uh, everybody moving to Florida, uh, trying to get the team ready, uh, getting families down here. It's been an exciting time, uh, but we're all looking forward to getting settled in the Orlando area. We've been balancing a lot. Uh, Ashley's been doing a lot of wedding planning. She did a great job. Uh, she did most of the house hunting down here. Uh, I've basically been focused on football while she's been taking care of everything else. He had to multitask. He's a better man than I, been able to, to juggle uh, wedding plans as well as getting ready for spring ball. But, uh, you know, he's a winner and uh, he was able to do that uh, pretty well. Being married is awesome. I mean, that's, that, there, there's nothing like being married. I'm married to a beautiful gal, my wife Kate. Without her, I have no idea where I'd be. When we were at the University of Northern Iowa, he would come over for dinner. I think he saw the the relationship that I had with my wife Kate. It's just a beautiful thing. I don't think there's anything better. When I had a first meeting with him, I, t I was kind of scared to tell him, like, Coach, I'm married, you know, but he was like, I'm actually getting married in March myself, so that, that's right off the bat. We had something in common. I can tell this is a very genuine guy. Just inspired me even more to respect what he's bringing to the program. And the biggest message I can give you today, the biggest message is football is important. Understand football is not life. Football should be important. I want them to pour everything into it. Uh, but if, if you base your happiness every day on how well football goes, you're going to have good days and bad days. Uh, there needs to be more important things in their life. If you go home at night and you're so worried about the practice that morning that it's affecting everything else in your life, you're holding on too tight. And I don't think that makes you your best as a football player. That's something I needed to hear at the time because I was not stressing, but I was overthinking about football and school and I, don't know, I just didn't have everything leveled out, but when, when I heard it from my head coach that football is not everything, I could breathe easier. I don't know, that just helped us as like a team because I've talked to people around the team about it and they felt the same way. Football ought to be what you do and you ought to do it as well as you can do it. And you ought to show up the next day and do it even better. But don't hold on so tight, coaches, players, anyone, that this becomes the only thing that matters to you because I think it's detrimental to everything in your life and on this team. Kind of makes you put things in perspective. Uh, there's a lot of things out here in this world that's way more important than the game of football. And, and he stresses that because you got to be able to live past, if you're lucky enough or blessed enough to play in the NFL or any type of professional football league, you got to be able to live past that. You know, in, in my career, every time I hung on a little too tight, uh, things would go wrong and I had to learn real quick to, to make sure my priorities were in the right place. And, I want our guys to be competitive. I want them to hate to lose. I want them to work as hard as they can to be as great at this game as they can. But uh, you can't base your, your happiness on wins and losses every week. We want our guys to, to embrace the rise and conquer culture. And it, it's get up every day. Uh, do the best you can in everything you can do. Let your head hit the pillow, and get up the next day and do it all over it again. You have to rise to every occasion that you're faced, uh, whether it be a small feat, big feat, whatever, whatever's put in front of you, you have to rise to it. Um, and then conquer, you have to overcome it. Uh, you know, it's one thing to get up for something and to rise, but it's another thing to overcome it, to conquer it, and to um, kind of win that battle. Very important, um, but it keeps, you, it keeps you focused. You know, instead of looking at the big picture and, and what can I do today to get better? Uh, what can we do today as a team to get better? How can we rise today and conquer the tasks set before us? And if we do that, then once the game comes, we'll be ready to go. Honestly, I do take a lot of heart to rise and conquer just because like every day you have to rise. And as a leader, you can't fail. You don't want your team to fail. That's where conquering comes in. So. You can rise, but just rise and you, you can still lose. But if you conquer, we won. Exactly the way it sounds. You gotta rise, you gotta conquer. And I know we, we up and coming. And I feel like these teams and different people gotta, just got something waiting for them. You know, it, it's something brand new and it's, and it's coming. Yeah.